What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Reeboks Monday. Yes, I love Mondays because I get to show you all what I've added into my collection and I hope you have all had a pretty good week this week too and are able to add something awesome into your mystery boxes and collections as well. And as you can see here, look at that. Yes, we actually got this new set of cars in there too, so we can check that out. Uh, plus a couple of extra cars there. And we go, uh, <laughs> we've actually got two pretty cool items off to the side. Uh, one of them is a double box, or actually, technically it's four, a four, two, it's two two packs. <laughs> plus we have a Hot Wheels Premium. Uh, box off to the side here as well so we will actually be opening that up today yeah pretty awesome I'm very excited to open that uh, and we're not going to waste any more time we're going to jump right on into it actually we'll start with this one here all right yes yeah, so I was at the shops the other day and I found the Jeep Wrangler super lift and this one here comes in the worn livery as well so uh, yeah I thought I would open this one here up when I actually open up that worn five pack. So uh, where did I put that? I've put that too far away now, I can't find it. But yeah, I thought that we would open this one here up with that five pack from last week. So I'm uh, not gonna open this one up today. I just put it into the box just so that I could show you guys that uh, because it is pretty cool. It does look really awesome. All right, let's get into it and let's have a look at some of the new cars that we found starting with the Dodge Viper RT10. How cool is this with the three spoke wheels? Wow, that's really, really awesome. Nice bright yellow with the black striping. Have the Viper RT10 badge on the side. Little Hot Wheels badge there. That is super cool. Oh, we also get the Viper on the uh, badge there in the center. Uh, two racing stripes over the bonnet and over the boot. That is too cool. And uh, no painted light details, unfortunately, but it's a really, really cool looking car. I do quite like the, uh, the tri-spokes, uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, from the Hot Wheels Roadster series. Pop that one up there. Next up, we were lucky enough to find two of these, so we're going to actually open this one here up. This is the Highway Hauler 2, from the Hot Wheels Rapid Race Parts Livery. And there's a cool card art for that as well. Yeah, from the Hot Wheels Haulers series. Let's get this guy out and have a look at that. Wow, that is actually, this is a very, very light casting. You'd think something as large as this, it would be much heavier. But <laughs> this, this black section here is the only uh, metal piece on here. Uh, there is no interior. Uh, the base is plastic. This chrome piece is plastic, and this box here is also plastic. Uh, not to worry though, it is a very, very cool looking car, or truck I should say. Big huge chrome grille, uh, mirrored finish on the windows there. Some blacked out aero disc wheels with a bit of red trim. I have the uh, giant turbo sticking out the side there, and a big intercooler or radiator there. Uh, on the side of the box we have Hot Wheels, Rapid Race Parts, and we also get some racing sponsors on the side there as well. Oh, I just noticed that there's big chrome uh, exhaust stacks on the side there. Bit of a, a wing on the top. Uh, has the roller door in the back, uh, which does not open, unfortunately. And we have the same livery on this side. Also has the chrome stacks and turbo setup there as well. Yeah, pretty awesome looking car. Has half of the, the uh, side step there is in chrome. <laughs> very, very cool. All right, we'll pop this guy up the bot up there, up on the top. And we'll check out the next one, which is the 2017 Camaro ZL1 from the Muscle Mania series. This looks very, very cool. Simple side stripe there in black Camaro written just inside that stripe there and a little Hot Wheels badge. Uh, no headlight details, we do get the black cutout section for the uh, front grille. A little bit of a bonnet bump on the top there with uh, some badges on there as well. <laughs> little racing stripe in silver there. 
a little bit of black paint over the rear wing and uh, there's the rear there no brake lights painted on unfortunately but still that is awesome blacked out wheels with the chrome trim yes do quite like the look of that and how cool does that card art look there we go you can see that it has ZL1 uh, that's what is written on the badging there that's cool uh, actually I'll move that one over to the other side because we're going to be putting stuff and we'll move this one here over here as well for the time being because yes we have a few cars here we'll hold off on this one for the time being uh, that's just a majorette so we want to get onto the Hot Wheels stuff so yes this is the new Hot Wheels uh, 50 something anniversary series uh, there is the cars that are in this series that is pretty awesome nice lineup of cars you get a Datsun and a, a Nissan in there <laughs> Uh, plus the manga tuner. So this little section of cars here is really, really cool. Uh, the Volkswagen Bar Hard Bug looks awesome. 53 Chevy, one of my favorite car things. I really, really like that. And the Nitro Tailgater, that looks really awesome as well. So yeah, uh, kick back, relax, and we will have a look at that. Uh, this is the pink and blue series. Uh, as I mentioned, I do not know what year. Oh. Probably the 54th anniversary series. I probably should have looked at that first. Uh, yeah, 54th anniversary series. Got a light blue chrome wheel. Skyline badging on the back there. 54 plus an extra striping. Uh, have the pink base and the pink bumper there. Black grill and headlight section. Very nice paint, I will have to admit. Nice metallic blue. And there is the rear there. We do get the rear lighting details. That is beautiful. Very, very nice. So yeah, I picked up these from the reject shop uh, today, actually. Uh, these are $5 each at the reject shop. So if you want them, uh, you're paying a little bit extra money for them. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't be $5. They should be a lot cheaper than that. But uh, with the prices of Hot Wheels going these days, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, they're kind of happening everywhere. Prices are going up. Uh, this is the custom 53 Chevy. And this, I have to say, it looks really, really cool. Once again, we get that light blue chrome wheel. Uh, these are the aero discs. Nice pinstriping along the side there in pink and a little bit of a light blue striping through the center. Number 54 at the back. Oh, wow, this one comes with a pink engine detail. Has the clear bonnet. Uh, it appears to have are they painted? I don't believe that those headlights are painted. Uh, has the chrome grille on the front in pink, or pink chrome grille on the front, I should say. A very, very cool car. And once again, the pink on the rear bumper as well. Uh, this one has a black base and just has the pink for the engine detail and the bumpers. Uh, and the interior is also pink. Sorry, I just had to double check that one. Now we have the Datsun Fair Lady 2000. This one comes with the pink base. There we go, number 54 on the side there. Blacked out wheels with a light blue chrome trim. Uh, a little bit of a pink license plate area there. The colour is just so nice, I will, I will keep saying that again, and uh, no light details on the front or the rear, it is all on the side there with that Datsun, the 54, the pink stripes, the little light blue stripe down the centre, and the little Hot Wheels badge on the back. Very, very cool. Next up we have the Manga Tuner. Yes, this is the, the cartoon version of the Mad Manga. And the Mad Manga is an absolutely awesome casting in that Boss Zuku style, uh, which is a kind of a car culture theme in Japan. And so this one here is really, really cool. Uh, blacked out wheels with a blue chrome trim, number 54 on the side there. Uh, number 54 on the front with a light blue paint and stripe. And a little bit of a pink striping around there also. Uh, no headlight details, but they are 
There is a little bit of a clear plastic just there, so I think that's, that is a little bit of a lensed light uh, just there on the side as the pink base for the uh, big front uh, pink splitter. Big huge wing on the back, and there is the classic Bosozoku style exhaust there sticking up into the sky. Yes, that is absolutely awesome. I uh, just wanted to point out, all the backs of these cards also have the outline of the cars on there, so that is really, really cool to see. Our uh, last couple of cars, the last two cars actually. Uh, this one here is the 1970 Volkswagen Baja Bug, and this one here is also a cartooned version of the Baja Bug. It has the uh, pink chrome bumper, uh, it's got the pink and light blue paint stripes over the bonnet and roof. On the roof we have number 54. Uh, big huge off-road wheels with that light blue chrome trim. It also has the pink cage for the engine protection there. And the big huge exhaust st sticking up the back there as well. That is awesome. And we can actually see a bit better of the uh, design of the, the Volkswagen just there. That's cool. <laughs> All right. And the last one for the Hot Wheels 54th Anniversary Series is the Nitro Tailgater. Uh, there was no chase for this set as far as I'm aware uh, because I could only find these ones here and I did actually, t I actually opened the box up which had all of these in them and I was uh, went through all of the cars and there was only uh, just the six cars, uh, just multiple sets, and uh, there, no chase in there at all. Uh, but the Nitro Tailgate is really, really cool because it actually has the pink body. Nice pink chrome, 54 on the side with the blue stripes, blue wheels. It has the uh, clear windows to give it the clear engine bonnet scoop. Uh, this has a blue base. I'm trying to get some good light in there. Uh, open top interior kind of look. And uh, the rear hatch is open for a wing. It also has a parachute and wheelie bars. Very, very cool, I will have to admit. I'm just sorry that I couldn't get a better uh, viewing of these because these cards are so dark, it's throwing off the uh, camera lighting for me. So hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better after it's been edited and everything like that. Uh, but trying to look through the camera screen to find all the details on that was a little, a little bit hard. All right. Yes, we went to TK Maxx over the last week and they had some majorettes. Well, technically they had uh, a few majorettes because uh, one of the extra things off to the side is also majorette. Uh, but they had a whole line of just this one particular Suzuki Jimny. And it says, uh, uh, not true 112 not not as not us <laughs> oh my god I can't speak uh, yeah it's got the off-road wheels uh, it's got the blue light bar on the top there I think this is just a roadside emergency uh, maybe I have no idea uh, if anybody knows please 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 put it into the comments below so we can all find out uh, but this has all the nice details, it's got the spare wheel on the back, uh, the red, orange stripe, it's got the uh, Suzuki Jimny badging and everything, brake lights, yeah very very nice, lensed headlights on the front there, Suzuki badge on the front, uh, blacked out grill, has some spotlights also, and um, yeah, five dollars, not too bad, and I think this one here is a Muller exclusive, uh, a German store, as far as I know. I, I'm not too familiar with all of the codes here, but I do know that this one here is a, uh, a store exclusive. I just can't remember exactly which store it is. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That is pretty awesome. Uh, last couple of cars in the box. Empty box there. Let's get rid of that. Get that out of the way. All right. The last couple of items here. Uh, found a Hot Wheels Premium. This one here is the Rugrats uh, Reptar Wagon. That is really, really cool. I do believe that this is a reissue of the same 
exact identical casting from a few months ago or possibly a, uh, last year sometime um, yeah not entirely sure but I, I think that the possibly the uh, the card art is different but it looks exactly the same as far as the actual um, reptile wagon is in itself very cool though very cool <laughs> Yeah, I grew up with Rugrats, uh, watching Rugrats as a kid, so it was a it was a great show. It was a really really funny show to grow up watching. Uh, the last item that we have today is the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Volkswagen Drag Bus. Yes, this here is very very cool. Big huge monster truck wheels. This comes with all of the details and it has that checkered look on there as well with the two tone checkers. And the top has a, a grey and black, or a matte black and gloss black checkering on the top there. That is really, really cool. It's got the big wing, the uh, checker flag down the side, little Hot Wheels logo there, monster trucks, and some uh, brake lights painted up there, and the exhaust out the back there. Very, very cool. Uh, I don't buy very many of the monster trucks, but when they do the Volkswagen, I'm got the uh, drag bus. I'm always going to be picking that one up because that's just that's just absolutely awesome. Uh, last couple of items we have for today. Uh, don't worry, the show's not over. We're we're uh, we're st still only just going on the show. Uh, we are going to move a few things around. I think though. All right, bear with me for a sec, guys. Move this stuff around here. Yeah, that, that'll do for the time being. Because uh, we need some space here to be able to put these up, here up. Uh, this one here is a Hot Wheels Premium Drift uh, Mountain Drifters. Uh, uh, it's like a, a special edition box of some sort here. It's a container. Uh, there we go. There, there are the vehicles in this set. Very, very awesome. And as you can see here, it has like a, uh, a shipping container. So very, very strange. I've seen these uh, priced as high as $55, uh, but that's just absolute insanity. I am never going to pay $55 for these. There you go, you can see the price there. $40 is what the, this pack is worth because that is what five cars are worth because Hot Wheels premiums are $8 per car. So that works out to be $40. Uh, usually that would include packaging and all of that sort of stuff there. So I don't understand paying an extra $10 uh, for no display cards or no cards to display on. Uh, but we do get this. <laughs> uh, it's a shipping container. Yes, as you can see, Hot Wheels car culture Mountain Drifters, five cars, uh, 2021 Mattel. Uh, as you can see, it is a shipping container looking thing. There is the openings there. So it's pretty cool, 40 foot container. And uh, where will we open this from? Aha. There we go. And there we have it guys, there are the Mountain Drifters all packaged in this uh, kind of weird shipping container style thing. Uh, it's pretty cool, I did like this set quite a lot when it came out. I already have two sets, uh, I was going to open a set so I could show everybody else, like I was going to do a full review on it, I just haven't had the time to do it. Uh, but when we do do that review, we will be in using these cars here if we can get them out of the box I'm just going to cheat a little bit and take that off there completely all right there we go <laughs> there are the cars all lined up there so yeah I thought that when we do do the review we will use these vehicles uh, but in the meantime I am going to just quickly put this back together, if I can get it back together. There we go, excellent. 
we'll put that there so then we can put the cars on top. Uh, we're not going to go into too much of a review on these cars today, uh, but we will definitely have a look at them. Uh, this one here, the Truno with the Itish, uh, Itasha, I think that's what the uh, characters, uh, the Japanese style is called, where they have the Japanese character along the side there, uh, with the manga girls and such like that. Uh, yeah, pretty awesome. I do quite like the look of the uh, design. There we go, there, there's another picture there. Not entirely sure who that is, uh, could be anybody. Uh, has the pop-up headlights in the up and on position. AE86 on the license plate there, the Truno. Uh, same livery on that side. And there is the rear there as well. So yeah, very, very cool. And here we have the uh, Mitsubishi 3000 GT or VRX or whatever it's called. Uh, 3000 GT VR4. Nice blue color, nice clean details on the front there. I really like the choice of wheel as well. Nice color, really nice blue. And there's all the details on the rear there as well. Yeah, very, very cool. Trying to go through these as fast as we can so we don't waste too much time. And the NSX with the white wheels White wheel in the world, lens headlights, Honda badge, very, very nicely done. Wing on the back there, light bar, NSX R on the license plate. That's so cool. That is very, very cool. Next up, we have the GTR 34 Silhouette. Really, really cool. I'm glad that we can actually open this one up and have a look at it. Uh, R34 Super Silhouette, I should say. Uh, Liberty Walk body kit, blacked out five spokes, big, huge front splitter. Lovely details as, as far as that racing theme goes all over it. It comes with a roll cage and everything. Just absolutely beautiful. Big wing on the back there. Huge racing diffuser and all those lovely details on the rear there as well. That is so cool. Very, very nice. Vents in the bonnet there too, wow. That is so much, that is that actually weighs a lot. That is very, very heavy. And the last one is the Toyota Celica GT4, Chrome 5 spokes. Nice details with all those lights on the front there, the grills, the badging, the vents. A lot of detail has been put into this one. A very nice colour as well. It's like a soft yellow colour. And there is the details on the rear there as well. So there you go. And uh, yeah, we will do the whole review of this set. And uh, we'll have these all open and available to use. Uh, also, speaking of upcoming stuff for the channel, yes, we have some more Major Wreck tune-ups at TK Maxx for $15. I don't know how they can try to charge $25 for these. There's, there's no way these are worth $25. Just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, yeah, but these are a two-pack, uh, 20 surprises, uh, 18 metal cars to collect. Uh, there's a Jimny. Uh, there's all the cars there, so you can uh, pause and read that if you wish. Uh, there's a super rare one, that's really, really cool. Uh, there's also a sticker, barcode QR thingy just there if anybody wants to scan that. <laughs> um, oh, there's the, uh, the, the ultra rare, what is that? Uh, Ford Bronco Wild Track. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, there is, it is there. It comes with all of these little extra tuning parts and accessories. Uh, it comes with a, a collector chip, a collector box, and a flyer, uh, which has basically, it's just this. <laughs> uh, and there is the bottom, and there is a barcode. Maybe if you scan that, you can find these yourself, because these are pretty cool. I will have to admit. And we got two of them. Yes, all right, so coming up in a future. Actually, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to open them right this moment, obviously, uh, because 
well time's getting on and I don't want to waste everybody's time because well I've got quite a lot of things to get done myself uh, but next Monday we'll just open these up on the show next Monday how about that I think that'll be something cool to do yes that is really really awesome so yes uh, starting next Monday's episode we will get those let's just grab this for a second We'll start off next week's episode with they are major tune-ups. We'll open those ones up. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I was going to do them as, as a uh, episode because I wanted to be like, oh, cool, major tune-ups, two packs. Like, these are cool. These are what's in it. But no, I think I'm just going to do it for your, for you guys, the guys that join me every Monday, the the uh, the loyal fans, as I like to call you, because you guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah. We'll do it for you guys. We won't even worry about trying to do a review for it. We'll just do it straight here. And uh, yeah, that'd be absolutely awesome. And this is just too cool as well. The uh, container is not worth an extra $10 or $15 for the, uh, just to have. Um, yeah, once you, yeah, once you open it up and you take the cars out and all of that, you don't really need the, uh, the container. But because it was for the same price as a full set normally would cost, at the $40 price, that is the only reason why I was going to buy it. There is no way I will be paying $50 or over $50 for one of these. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just a little bit too expensive for a, for an empty box. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Sorry for all of the rambling on. Um, can't wait to open these up. Uh, yeah, next Monday we'll open these up. And until next Monday, I just want to say, take care of yourselves. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and I'll see you all then. Bye, guys.